Do you ever wonder what the volume of your Amazon box is? Well, in this video, that's what we're going to find out. The volume of square boxes and rectangular prisms. In case you're wondering, a rectangular prism is really just a rectangular box. <laughs> Welcome to Purely Persistent, I'm Michelle. And a special welcome to my Patreon members who are getting this cool new poster. Trust yourself, you can do it. Along with many other giveaways such as private tutoring, live streams, motivational videos, so many cool things. So definitely consider joining me on Patreon. Click that link right down below. Let's get started on those rectangular prisms and those cubes. <laughs> so before we get started, it's really important that you know the formula. Okay, and so the formula to find the area is simply length times width times height. Okay, you may remember from finding either just a square or a rectangle that it's length times width, but here we're making it three dimensional, right? So we have just a little bit more of an element, a little bit more of a step to it. But it's all just multiplication and trust yourself, you can do it. <laughs> okay, so the great thing about a cube is all sides are the same, right? So think about a dice, okay? When you have, or I guess it's a die, on a die, all of the sides are exactly the same. And so when you're working with a cube, the definition is all the sides are exactly the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go length times width times height. So here I have my length, which is three. And my width is also a three. And my height is also going to be a three. There are a couple different ways to do this. So the first way is I can just go three times three, which is nine. And then bring down this other three and nine times three is 27. Another way I can do this though is simply saying three cubed. So that is three to the power of three because I'm multiplying three, three times, okay? And if you're able to use a calculator, you would simply just type in three and then the little caret button and then three and that would give you your answer. But I know that three times three times three is simply going to be 27. So there are a couple different ways that you can do it, but that is the volume of my cube here. But I don't wanna leave it just as 27 because if I'm taking a test or doing homework, I could actually get it wrong because I have to label it. So I wanna make sure I have my centimeters and then I'm going to put a little cube on the top there because that shows that it is a three-dimensional figure. So I just wanna tell you, I'm using a new program here and I'm so giddy about all the different colors that I can use on these slides. It makes it so much more fun. So here I'm doing another cube, but I'm doing different things with it. So I have my five, so that's my length, times my width, I'm going green this time, times five, and then times this five here. So I can do the same thing that I did before, where I can go five times five is 25, and then bring down this five, and 25 times five is 125, and then I have to make sure I go my centimeters cubed. Or of course, I can also go five cubed. So again, five times five times five is just five cubed. Use it in your calculator if you need to. And that gives me 125 centimeters cubed. So it's one thing to actually watch me do this, but the best way to really learn and comprehend a math concept so that you do it in the future is by practicing. So if you click Another link right down below. I do have here the slides with the answers that you can download for free or pitch in a couple bucks. And I also have a practice worksheet that you can do as well so that you really master the concept of volume for cubes and rectangular prisms. Right. 
Okay, so it's the same principle, length times width times height. So here I have my length, which is two, times my width, which is five, times my height, which is another two. Okay, now this time I have to just multiply all three across, okay? You can simply use your calculator, just bang, 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 um, or else you can break it down piece by piece like I'm going to do here. So two times five is simply 10. Bring down that two, 10 times two is 20. So I'm at 20 centimeters cubed. Now, unfortunately, we can't just say two cubed or something because it's not a square. It is a rectangular prism and all the numbers aren't the same. On this one here, the numbers are actually all different. So I have my length, which is four, times my height, which is two, times my width, which is six. So I have four times two, which is eight, bring down my six. Eight times six is 48. My friends, that is it. Again, you're going to want to practice. So practice what either a teacher gave to you or practice with my examples in the link down below. Anyone hasn't told you today, you are so important in this world. Trust yourself, you can do this. It's just gonna take a little practice and honestly, you've totally got it. So I believe in you, make sure that you believe in yourself and have such a beautiful day. Bye friends, peace.